Hi there, welcome. Today we will learn how to record our voice and add the voiceover into our Google Slides. The audio voice recorder system that I'm using today is going to be onlinevoicerecorder.com. So first, I'm going to show you an example of how this sounds in Google Slides. So I currently have my audio inserted into Google Slides. I have my volume all the way up in one slide. Then when I go to the next slide, I have again two different audios. One is a voice recording of myself all the way up and then the other audio is a voice recording of a music that I have inputted. I have turned the music down a little bit lower so that my voice is louder and it can be heard. Okay, so let's show you how that looks in present mode. Good morning, Howard University Bisons. Today is Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. Today is the last day of school. Come hang out with Miss Campbell and your friends on Zoom. Hello, Howard University. Miss Campbell wishes you all a wonderful and safe summer vacation. Have some fun clicking and exploring the beautiful island of Jamaica. And don't forget, Click on Gigi so you can travel to Australia. Congratulations on leveling up to 70%. All right, so I went through, I clicked and went through the video a little fast so that we can get straight to inserting your audio into your Google Slides. So what I use to record my voice is this online voicerecorder.com. So it's super helpful because it downloads to your computer. It's free and you can edit it and you can upload it to Google Drive, you can upload it to your Dropbox. So I'm gonna show you how this works. I click the button to start recording. And you have to make sure you can allow the voice recorder to use your phone. You're right. Hello, hello. This is a test run of YouTube, how to insert your audio, how to record <laughs> your audio and insert into Google Slides. Then you click stop or you can click pause. You can click pause and like, hmm, what should I say next? I don't know. I'm messing up with my words. I'm getting crazy flustered. <laughs> or, and if you are if you have what you're going to say, you can click pause. Okay, okay, I know what I'm going to say. Yes, this tutorial is super cool. You like it? Give me some like, thumbs up, subscribe, turn on those notifications. <laughs> and so if you're good with that, you can go ahead and stop and it'll process. Now, here you can edit because it starts off a little blank. You'll see that there's no, there's a blank space. That means there's no sound. Hello, hello. And the sound, sound, the sound starts right here. So then you will move your scroller over to the beginning of the sound. And you can Hello, play. hello. This is a... And the good thing about it is you can click in each of them to hear the ending sound. Gents. Hello, hello. So if you want, you can click where you would like to listen to the audio. You can move this down a little bit if you'd like to have that. And then you click save. And it'll process, takes about less than 10 seconds. Look, it's already there in my finder, in my folder. If I click the arrow to show in finder, it's right there. It says record online. Okay, so if you want to name it, you can right click, rename, or hold down your mouse and release. That doesn't work for you like that and release. Hold down your mouse bar and release. And then go ahead and rename it um, sample audio or whatever you like sample audio so I know it's there and I double click because I want to remove it from my finder and sample audio oops deleting all this stuff sample audio is now hello, there hello. in my finder once I removed it so now I'm going to go back to teach Miss Campbell and I'm going to duplicate my slide I'm going to delete all of this and I'm going to upload my audio to Google Drive. Then I click File Upload. And if you have a folder already with your music for Google Slides, you can create a folder so you have all of your Google Slides there. I already have a folder of music for Google Slides, so I know to find it. So I'm going to actually upload my Google the audio to that. Okay, so I can click File Upload, I click Recent, and I will search Sample. If I cannot find it, then I would just click Sample, Audio, and then here it is, Sample Audio. You can test run it. Hello, hello. This is a test run. 
That's my test run. I click open. And also, if you have a MacBook Air like I do, the cool thing about it is you can drag and you can drop it instantly to upload them to the music for Google Slides. But I'm not going to do that. So, But that's another cool thing that you can do as well. It's really actually a faster way than having to click the file, file upload. But as you see, it took less than 33 seconds. And if you scroll down, you will see my sample audio is right here. Sample audio. When I click it, hello, hello, that's my sample audio. So then it's in my Google Drive now. I go back to my Google Slides and I click the top button, insert. I click audio. And as you see, it's going to pop up. Sample audio is right there. Then I click select the sample audio, clicking the blue select button. And creating audio is popped up already into my Google Slides. I like to move it over to myself so I know that I'm talking right here. And I click play. Hello, hello. This is a test run of now. If you would like to have your audio start automatically, then you would click this format options at the top and you would see the audio playbacks. It looks generally like this. So it looks like this when you open it. Mine's did not because I was playing around with it. But you click format options and it will look like this. You have to click the arrow to drop down the audio playback and then you'll see the options. You can have the option to on click or automatically. If you want your students to hear it automatically, you click automatically. And then you can change the volume to however loud you want it to be. And you can hide this icon. So if I were to present the video, the speaker sound would show. You see hello, it hello. Showing? This is a test run of YouTube how to and my audio automatically played because I chose the option to automatically play, right? And we don't want the icon to show. We don't want this to show. So we're going to click hide icon when presenting. Loop audio. So loop audio is if you would like yourself to be repeated over and over. So when this ends, you want it to start over again. If it, and again and again and again. It never stops. It keeps repeating the audio over and over. If you would like that, you would click loop audio. If not, you can unclick it. If you would like the audio of yourself to only be on one slide, then you would click stop on slide change if you only want it to be on one slide. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I tried my best to be as detailed as possible. I know this is something very, very new for many of you all, but I hope you enjoyed and I hope you watch more videos. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the notifications. Have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,